Anoka's Midwinter Celebration was held last weekend at George Enloe Park. There, community members gathered for a wide variety of winter recreation activities, including tumbling down the George Enloe Sliding Hill, taking part in disc golf, and skating activities for people of all ages and skill level. We met up with Parks and Recreation Manager Nikki Jenks to learn more about the winter activities offered this year, as well as some new attractions to Winterfest in 2023. Uh, we also have disc golf um, baskets set up and we have some people teaching people how to play and kids can just throw the discs at the baskets. Um, and we also have the Anoka Mites, um, Anoka Hockey Association is here uh, doing some fun activities on the ice. New this year is we have a Little Blues Traveling Zoo. Um, so it's a nice little uh, traveling zoo, a petting zoo, kids can come pet the animals that are here. We've been doing this event for a while. Um, I would say my favorite activity uh, we had in the past were the sled dogs, but um, you know, the petting zoo is pretty cool. Having animals and interaction with them is always pretty fun. I think everyone's actually really enjoying them. Um, and we're hoping to have them at some of our other events too. I got a chance to speak with Irene from the Little Blues Traveling Zoo to learn more about the cool animals they brought to Winterfest this year. So Little Blues Traveling Zoo is in Lindstrom, Minnesota, but we travel all around the Twin Cities and the surrounded area. We love to do community events like this at Winterfest. We also do private birthday parties and corporate events. Pretty much anything you might want animals for, we can do it. We have alpacas, pigs, sheep, goats, and turkeys. And I think the friendliest animals are the sheep and the goats for sure. Uh, other stuff we have uh, are like we have snowshoes for people to try, we have kick sleds, um, there's the big sledding hill, people can skate. We also have food from um, the Anoka um, Order of the Eastern Star, Martha Chapter. It's, uh, they're associated with the Masons. Food vendors like Order of the Eastern Star who are involved with local charities throughout Anoka County ensure that all food proceeds are going to support community members who need it the most. And in the dark days of midwinter, Anoka Winterfest serves as a call to all residents to stay active and connected this winter and the rest of the year. I think the next couple years with this event, we'll uh, you know try to continue just bringing out people to the the hill to sled, um, bringing people together in one place to you know try winter recreation and try things that they might not have tried before, like the winter disc golf and the um, snowshoeing things that. You know, you might not have at home, but you want to try. 